Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The development of tanks has come in the same time a short and long way, and Germany has been a leader in innovation from the very beginning. From the Leopard 1, which became the basis for subsequent models, to today's monsters such as the Leopard 2A8 and Panther KF-51. German tanks have not only evolved but are setting new standards in terms of technology and combat capability. These technological marvels are redefining ground warfare, seamlessly combining firepower, survivability, and advanced networking technologies. The Leopard 1, developed in the 1960s, was an attempt by the Germans to build a more sophisticated tank that relied on mobility and firepower rather than heavy armor. It mounted a 105mm rifled gun, which at the time was very modern. Compared to other tanks, the Leopard 1 was lighter and much faster, having a top speed of 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour. An improved suspension system increased mobility. Due to armor, this tank was much faster and more accurate at longer distances. It had a stabilized sight and fire control system, therefore it could effectively reach targets out over long distances. Its usage spread in many parts of the world, including the Middle East and even right now including Ukraine. It was a model for further German tank designs, such as the Leopard 2. In active service, the Leopard 1 was replaced in its turn in the 1980s, but remained in service for other tasks, for instance in evacuation and bridge guiding. Meanwhile, a qualitative jump was made with the design of Leopard 2 tanks at the end of the 1970s. This was a much better armed vehicle that had superior firepower and could make its name known in battle actions. Its design was intended so that it would easily turn to perform any task form assault operations on the front line to keeping the peace. The Leopard 2, which finally appeared in 1979, was the result of a very long and possibly painful development process to find the right mix between firepower, mobility, and protection. The Leopard 2 has a powerful 120mm smoothbore gun, first-class composite armor, and versatile mobility. Equipped with a modern fire control system, the Leopard 2 is capable of firing at long ranges, one of the key elements of this tank's success. Along with those weapons, the precision guidance system of this main battle tank provides it with the ability to destroy an enemy at close range. Besides that, the Leopard has unsurpassed mobility. It is equipped with a strong engine that enables this model to overcome most kinds of terrain within relatively short periods of time and allows this tank to get into operation at high speed and effectively respond to changes on the battlefield. Over the years, the Leopard 2 has been modernized. Much of the upgrades have been in the areas of armor, weaponry, and electronics, making the Leopard 2 relevant and formidable on the modern battlefield. The Leopard 2A8 is one of the most significant modernizations of its predecessor and represents a qualitative leap in modern tank technology. One of the main features of the Leopard 2A8 will be the improved armor system. New composite materials and reactive armor have been added to the tank's armor, significantly increasing its resistance against modern anti-tank weapons. In addition, the Leopard 2A8 will be equipped with the Israeli Trophy Active Defense System, which aims to neutralize incoming projectiles before they reach the tank hull. This multi-level protection makes the Leopard 2A8 one of the most survivable tanks on the battlefield. In terms of firepower, the Leopard 2A8 features state-of-the-art developments in ammunition. Compared to other modern ammunition, the kinetic energy is higher and the guidance is more precise, enabling the 120mm smoothbore gun to reach targets at very long distances with high accuracy. Coupled with this is an advanced fire control system enabling it to rapidly acquire targets and fire, thus being an extremely lethal force on the battlefield. Other significant enhancements to the Leopard 2A8 include improved mobility. The tank's suspension system enhances its performance and stability on rough terrain, while the enhanced performance and efficiency of its engine have been improved. That is to say, in the worst conditions imaginable, the Leopard 2A8 will not be caught with a lack of speed or maneuverability. Another interesting representative of the German tank industry, in Euro Satori 2024, launched the Leopard 2 ARC 3.0 an advanced evolution of the Leopard 2 family. This new main battle tank incorporates a fully unmanned turret, a modular autoloader, and an integrated sensor suite aimed at improving situational awareness and engagement capabilities. 
The unmanned turret significantly enhances crew survivability with no direct access to the turret, enabling all three crew members, commander, gunner, and driver, to operate from inside the tank chassis. This innovative design decreases the vulnerable area of the turret by 30%, minimizing the exposure of the crew to threats and optimizing their protection. It is adaptable, supporting a main gun from 120mm to 140mm. The latter has a modular autoloader, which can load three rounds in only 10 seconds to provide a very good volume of fire. Advanced targeting and awareness for the tank are provided by means of its sensor suite hardened drone detection, laser warning system, and optronics. Weighing below 60 tons, the Leopard 2 ARC 3.0 derives a 1500 horsepower engine, allowing speeds of over 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour, with a range of 286 miles or 460 kilometers. Its weaponry is the NATO standard 120mm smoothbore gun with options for larger bores, a remote controlled weapon station, and guided missile system. Thus, this makes it a very versatile and formidable asset on the modern battlefield. However, the Germans went even further. With the Panther KF-51, an entirely new dimension in the history of tank construction was achieved, going beyond what had been thought possible for a modern main battle tank. Based on the Leopard 2, the Panther KF-51 redefines the tank concept by integrating advanced technology into a fully digital, software-controlled combat platform. At the heart of the Panther is deadly firepower. Equipped with a 130mm smoothbore gun, it outperforms the standard 120mm guns found on most modern tanks. The 130mm gun provides up to 50% higher efficiency, allowing the Panther KF-51 to establish longer target ranges with better accuracy. The Panther also has a full suite of supporting weapons, including coaxial machine guns and a remote-controlled weapon station, making it a force to be reckoned with in both offense and defense. But the innovation on this particular KF-51 Panther tank does not stop with firepower. The tank is configured for highly networked operations with modern battle management systems and software-defined communication systems. This allows the Panther to exchange data with other unmanned systems, drones and ground unmanned vehicles, creating a combat ecosystem. Situational awareness on board the Panther is enhanced by a 360-degree camera system that provides full visibility for the crew in low-visibility conditions. In addition, the Panther KF-51 introduces a new dimension of survivability by integrating active, reactive, and passive defense systems to protect the crew from conventional and asymmetric threats. A state-of-the-art electromagnetic warfare system is integrated into the Panther, enabling it to operate in challenging environments and counter electronic threats that are prevalent on modern battlefields. However, there is still room to create something even more powerful and better. The EMBT, or Enhanced Main Battle Tank, is the product of a Franco-German partnership to develop the next-generation tank by combining the best military technologies of both countries. With the firepower and armor of the Leopard 2, combined with the mobility and situational awareness of the French Leclerc, the EMBT represents the future of Allied warfare. The EMBT is a hybrid of both a powerful 120mm smoothbore gun taken directly from the Leopard 2 and Leclerc's high-tech guidance and electronic systems. This dual-system approach allows the EMBT to destroy targets with unprecedented accuracy, and thanks to its high mobility, it has an excellent level of protection. The modular design of the tank allows for easy modernization, thus ensuring the survivability of this future main battle tank against future threats. In addition, the EMBT is designed for interoperability to work alongside NATO forces and other allied units. The advanced communication and networking system can exchange information in real time with other platforms, thus forming a cohesive and effective fighting force. As the battlefield has changed, so have the technological capabilities of German tanks, from the Leopard 1 to the Leopard 2 and then to the Leopard 2A8, Leopard 2 ARC 3.0, Panther KF-51 and EMBT, German tanks have always been at the forefront of military innovation. The new tanks represent a quality leap in lethality, survivability and communications capabilities, ensuring that Germany is a force to be recognized on the modern battlefield. The Leopard 2 A8 and the Leopard 2 ARC 3.0 are Germany's commitment to preserving the Leopard 2 legacy, while the Panther KF-51 takes another step into a new reality for main battle tanks by introducing digital technology and expanding the network.
The EMBT was born out of a Franco-German partnership in a very specific area of cooperation and multinational military operations. What are your thoughts on the new German tanks? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.